Hello everybody, and welcome to my guide on how to make some of the strongest weapons and armor in Skyrim. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to pull up your map. And you're going to want to find Solitude. It is in the upper left hand corner of your map, and its emblem looks like a lion's head. Okay, the reason we chose Solitude for our location to do this is because you have an alchemist shop, a blacksmith forge, and your house has an alchemist lab and a enchanting table and they are all very close together which saves you a lot of time and effort from having to fast travel or run long distances okay now that that is out of the way we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go to our perk tree and under alchemy you can see that I have one perk to increase now it's a common uh, misnomer that a lot of people think that the more you have under the alchemist tab the better when in fact you want to go to benefactor and I'm gonna buy this perk right now and what that's gonna do is that's gonna make our potions stronger okay so now we're gonna go over what we need as far as materials go today we are gonna be making daedric armor so I'm gonna use a daedric heart you're gonna need some ebony ingots and you are gonna need some leather strips okay on top of those things you are gonna need some grand soul gems I have a total of 12 which should be plenty and some gold ingots I have 10 you probably will only need one or two uh, and now we're gonna go to our potions to start this off on the right foot you're gonna need an enchanters elixir okay guys these are really hard to find uh, and what they do is they make your enchantments 25% stronger for 60 seconds. If you guys do not know where to find an enchanter's elixir, I will put a link to another one of my videos in the description, and it is a detailed walkthrough on where to find one. Okay, now that we have all that out of the way, let's go ahead and use the blacksmith forge. Alright guys, what we are going to do is we are going to go all the way down to jewelry, Okay, and we are going to make a set of rings and we're going to make two gold necklaces now we are going to go up to leather make leather armor leather whoop, leather bracers and a leather helmet then we're going to go down to our daedric setting and we are going to craft daedric armor daedric boots some daedric gauntlets a daedric helmet and of course a daedric shield to top it off okay now that we have all that stuff made at the forge we're gonna turn around walk right down this path go into this big courtyard follow it to the right and we're gonna head to our house in solitude your house in solitude is called proud spire manor and it is obtained by having 20,000 gold for purchase and you have to do a quest for the Jarl of Solitude, and it will unlock the ability to buy it. Okay guys, now once we get inside here and this is finished loading, I'm going to show you exactly what we have to do to make these awesome potions. Okay guys, so once you're inside, this is what it looks like. We're going to move forward, go directly down the staircase, and in the right room on the bottom is an enchanting table, and in the left room is an alchemist lab. We're going to stand in front of the enchanting table, pull up our potions menu, and we're going to go ahead and drink this enchanter's elixir. Now, we are going to use the enchanter. We're going to go to items. We're going to go to gold necklace. And we are going to fortify alchemy and fortify smithing. You're going to use a grand soul gem. And you are going to do the same for a gold ring. The same two enchantments. Fortify smithing, fortify alchemy. You're going to have to have your enchanting to 100 in order to put two enchantments on each item. Okay, now the leather armor only gets a fortify smithing enchantment. And the leather bracers, again, are going to get the fortify smithing and fortify alchemy. 
And last but not least, the Leather Helmet is going to simply get a Fortify Alchemy enchantment. Okay, so now that that's all said and done, hopefully we have time to get one more ring and necklace done. And we're going to enchant them with a Fortify One-Handed and a Fortify Two-Handed. And we're going to use a Grand Soul Gem. Same thing for another gold necklace. We're going to do fortify one-handed and fortify two-handed. Okay, guys. We have all those items done. Now we're going to pull them up. Under the apparel tab, we are going to equip the necklace that has weapons and smithing on it. The ring that has the smithing on it. The leather armor, the bracers, and the helmet. Under your magic tab, you have active effects. You should have four of smithing and four of alchemy. Okay, now let's go next door to our alchemy lab. We're going to go ahead and use it. Okay, and we are going to go to fortify smithing. If you guys need to combine ingredients to make this, these are the ingredients that you will need. Let's go ahead and use blister wart and mushroom. And as you guys can see, smithing is 73% better. Now that is considerable. We're going to craft this, and we are going to make one more just for good measure. Okay, and we'll go ahead and make some fortify enchanting potions so you guys know how to do this to enchant your armor. Uh, you need a blue butterfly wing and a hag raven claw. And as you guys can see, it's an 18% potion. And we'll just go ahead and make four of those so you guys have plenty of stuff. You can also do it with snowberries and sprig and sap. So now we're going to quit alchemy. We're going to leave the house and go back to the blacksmith forge. Bear with me guys. I know there's a lot of foot travel, but this is the fastest, most effective way to do this. And the video is actually only going to end up being about 8 or 9 minutes long, which is not bad compared to the other 15 minute guides out there. It is important to mention, guys, that at this point, that you still have plenty of ebony ingots left over. Because in order to improve your Daedric armor, you are going to need those ebony ingots. They are required for you to use the workbench. Alright, so now we're out. We're going to head back up the brick walkway. Back into the courtyard. And we're going to hit up the blacksmith forge. Now, before we use the blacksmith forge, we are going to take... Hey buddy, you need to move. He should move if you use it. We're going to stand in front of the workbench. We're going to go to our potions, and we are going to take a Fortify Smithing Potion. And we are going to use the workbench, and we are going to improve our Daedric Armor, our Daedric Boots, our Daedric Gauntlets, Helmet, and Shield. You guys can also go through and do everything else that you guys need. I'm just going to stick to what we're doing this video about. Okay, now I already have some Daedric weapons made. Uh, if you guys want to make your own, under the Blacksmith Forge, it'll tell you what you need to do so. So I'm going to go ahead and take another potion. And then I'm going to use the Grindstone. Remember guys, you have to still be wearing all the equipment we made earlier with the Fortified Enchantments. Okay, I'm going to do this for the Daedric Mace. On both of those. And why not do the Daedric Bow? Okay, guys. Now we're going to go ahead and we are going to equip our armor so you guys can see how good it is. Armor, boots, gauntlets, helmet, and shield for a 1633 armor rating. Okay. Now we're going to put on our other gold necklace that has the one-handed and two-handed fortifications. And the other gold ring. Now we're going to go to our weapons. And we're going to pull out our Daedric maces in two hands. Okay. Now as you guys can see. I have a 572 damage boost. 
Uh, so my Daedric Maces do 572 damage when I have them improved and with those rings and necklaces on. Now you can get those rings stronger, guys. Um, I ran out of time on the potion. Uh, so if you guys wanted to make those rings uh, after you took another Enchanter's Potion, feel free. Alright guys, that's how you get super strong weapons and armor in Skyrim. I took a lot of time to make this video, so if you guys could please like and favorite to spread the word, I would really appreciate it. And I hope you guys find this useful. Until next time, peace out.